and here we go again. So, getting our claim on Breda, which we need to do because we need to from the Netherlands at some point in the Netherlands campaign. Although technically, uh, don't have to, but uh, it would definitely be a good move to do so. Can we piece any of these little poops out. Yep. Yeah. All the people getting all the pissed off. That's okay. You're out. Fox. Hmm. No, you will not be able to be taken care of. But you get to come down. That gets to go to East Frisian Canada here. And then, yeah, those will really help, too. Of course, I just freaking hate how this looks. It's so chopped up, but so be it. When we inevitably fight with France, which I'm sure will happen at some point, uh, we'll have to try to fix it then. And I guess when I have to push uh, eastwards and go after the Congo or something, we'll just conquer it outright. Probably with Imperialism CB. Until then, I don't know if I'll be able to make any good progress over there. Um, other things. East Frisian Louisiana. Still going okay. Let's take a look at our 12 East Frisian West Indies. is 18 regiments. That's interesting. Then again, they've got the rampant overexpansion uh, issue right now. But, you know. But, uh, make it work. Okay, down. The hell are you running off to? Well, now I'm just going to follow you and... Oh, well, that was easy to figure out. Although you were coming in here. Okay. There, Fox. You're out. Can't take your tor territory. And some rivalries. No diplomat to send. Okay, 20 days. Nope, I'll just wait. Get my peace deal. Okay, you're down there. Oh, I still managed to run. Okay. Zuni, so let's, uh, please conquer some territory off France. That would be delicious. East Frisian Canada's got a little issues there. Okay, we can knock Fox out of the war. We will do so. We'll be able to take that. Trading in tobacco. Well, that's neat. There's the stack wipe. There's the glorious victory. I think you're an OPM that gets uh, Chiska. Can't take your territory. Fine. Just beat up the natives and get a boatload of cash. <sighs> you come down south here, you get ready to handle Chickasaw or this what Hycini Federation. No, no, yep. Well, that was an easy stack wipe, no general, and still they went down real easy. <sighs> How are we doing with. A bunch of these have a ways to go. In fact, I think we got all the low-hanging fruit. 
because we definitely got all the low-hanging fruit. Okay, well that makes that easy. Embrace. And then we'll save extra money by not needing to run the expensive edicts. May have to run manpower edicts at some point. So manpower is just a continual problem in this campaign. Okay, that, wait some time, Lubeck no longer considers me a rival, thank the heavens, took long enough. Trade dispute, you're going down there, sword is stronger than the book, ouch. Lost our conquistador general. So we'll get another one. 20 over here, 20 over here. Taking that, and taking this, come around. Just a few more territories to take. Anybody else to kick out of the war? Yeah, you. Okay. Well, you're done for. Welcome to East Region, Canada. Wait another 40 days. Ah, oh, free merchant. Um, okay, think, think, think. We've got a merchant here, got a merchant there. Got a merchant there. Do we stick a merchant there? It doesn't matter. Do we have... We do have some pool here. Not much. 11% is worth it. Not in the colonial range. Darn. Okay, can't do that. Um, 15%. Only 0 .03 is there, but fine. Put you over there. Lost that CB. Yeah, we won't be able to do anything. Uh, do we need some of the diet? Of course we do. <sighs> Ostfriesland. Build a manufactory in Zealand. Okay. I like that. Really like that. Considering we're already building a manufactory in Zealand. So that makes that real stinking easy. Uh, new... Going into the next stage. Truce with GBO is over. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's a 100% war score, and that'll take a bunch of stuff, and the Equerk Confederacy is not quite toast. But, it is getting there. Wait, how come this stuff went to me? This should be what colonial... Okay, there we go. So, Val, I guess part of this went to... Canada... No, well, that's fine. They can deal with it. Um, okay, looking good. Where's our forces? You're up there. You can hopefully take that out. Please, Haiti. Um, okay, we've got one, two. Now, we'll keep you up in the northeast here somewhere. Where's a good place with... There. That'll be our little quick reaction force when we need to. Of course, we're going to be putting down tons more rebellions over there. But what else would we expect? Um, anything else we can build in? 
No, no, no. Okay. Five years. Need to increase that. When is our next idea group? 18. So we got a ways. Any good ones? Nope. Okay. God, they keep rebelling in Halle. I just don't understand it. That's religion. No wonder. Um, advisor costs. Okay. That is worryingly high influence, especially because when we complete that. We'll... It's kind of we'll make do. Take a look now where we are on the Great Power List after that war. Climbed up into third place and overtook Portugal. Of course, that is all based off our... Oh, no, we're actually about the same size. Portugal's got about as much dev proper as we do. Of course, that's going to change as soon as they just dumpster all over Morocco there. It's not looking bad. Um... Even Austria would do it. Um, the only difference is we need to build an actual army back here because we don't have one. So we're about to be 60. So we could build a 40 stack here. So... Wars like that are easy. Okay, so let's get going here. Bunch of native separatists to uh, put down. <sighs> GB, GB, GB. Not even my rival. God dang it. Okay. Let's admire our new world here for a bit. British West Indies versus the East Frisian West Indies with the colors way too close. I stole everything from GB North America, so all of that's mine. Canada's going to be getting a lot bigger very quickly. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. You won't go? You won't help them out? What are France's allies? Savoy, Venice, and Liège. Although I'm sure the army's way bigger than mine. Let's take a look for kicks and grins. Yeah, because I'm only seeing at 59,000. Of course, all those guys are basically in the New World. France is at 50,000, but their guys are probably home for the most part. Although, if I got my numbers up, I could go shit on France. The only thing is their force limit is way stinking higher. Good God, GB. That's impressive. So we need, when we are up at 100,000 where we should be, we will have the fourth biggest army in the world. Oh my god, they've got 57,000 artillery. That's pretty impressive. Hmm. What's going on here? The army power? Development, tariffs, diplo reps not that high, opinion could be higher. Well, if that's the case, let's jack that opinion up because we cannot afford to have them revolting. And let's start to build an army here. So, start with a single infantry unit and then we'll just stack it off of him. Ooh, ooh. Now that is an issue. They're loyal. But are we going to get the plutocratic coup? Or do we not because they're loyal? No, do it, does it not actually happen because they're loyal? 
Still, how do we, okay, new men's going to be for the next 20 years. That's a problem. Private trade fleets is a problem. Diet summoned. No price meddling will be done in five years. Their land share is pretty high. If we brought them down, that probably actually kicks us off, so we won't be doing that. Colonial Australia is owned by Spain. How cute. Okay. Well, it cost me a thousand guys to put down that damn revolt. Jeez. Now, if we went after you, you would join Chickasaw. There's Chickasaw. See, because we could set up a colonial Mexico. Now, of course, that'll put us in the crosshairs of Spain. But at some point, you know, screw it. We'll deal with it. They're allied with Austria and Portugal. So Austria would actually help us in that war. So it'd be basically 2v2. No, 2v3, because I have Sweden backing me also. Okay. Well, now is the Chickasaw easier to hit? Botani. They don't have much defenses there. You don't have a CB. I've got a CB there. So I'd have to go after Chickasaw. So I could take these guys, seize a bunch of land, and basically start forming a Texas here. And get New Spain to F off. So I'll have a, start raising a colonial Mexico. Okay, um, Chickasaw Capital there, great. Move you down there. And we'll bring you down here as well. Okay. Okay, there's... Yep. There, there. I don't even know what the overextension is in New East Frisia, but they need to get it under control. <sighs> Relative naval power. So let's... No, I'm not going to start building an army at home yet. Let's keep the manpower going. Great. And then there's the surrender. Build a fort here for you. And hold on, because I should be building a bunch of forts. Let's take a look. Let's hit the stability. You get a tier 4 fort. And you get a tier 4 fort. Put a fort in Manhattan. Got a lot of forts over here. Where's my Canadian capital? Over there. But you've got a fort. You've got a fort. Okay. Let's think Kits. How come I can't build in Satan Kits? That's really odd. Okay. Um, let's look home and build some forts. Okay. Want to build the Hague? The Hague's not done. You've got a fort. You've got a fort. You should have a fort, but you do not have a fort. Okay, we've got manufacturing there, there, there. Do a coastal battery, not particularly useful. Regimental camp, no, no. Okay, shipyard or sailor count. See, our sailor count's just good. We don't need to worry about that. So let's build 
Some shipyards there. Okay. And after that, of course, we flip it off. And keep going. Sweden against who? Denmark. Denmark's allied with a bunch of nobodies. But we don't have much of an army back home. So we need to join the war. Cologne, Trier. I mean, there's not much. So if we just build... Okay. So we're going to start raising this army. Let's pull back our... Make him a general. Don't know how long I have. Okay. All of them are popping out, so let's accept now. That's cute. Also, why are you taking <sighs> attrition? So are there any territories you want of coal? No. No. Who else is in this war? Trent, we don't care about. I mean, yeah, we've just got him completely outgunned. Okay. So you're good. You can just walk over here and start effing him up. And that was dumb. I should have... <laughs> God. Killed nearly 4,000 guys because I'm a dumbass. That's cute. Um, Can you handle this? Yeah. Should be able to. Okay. Okay, seven cannons. That's completed. Still not going up because they're loyal. We've got to keep a loyal. Even if I've got to freaking sell land, i got to keep the burgers loyal until those modifiers wear off. And I'm not summoning any more diets until that happens. Okay. Boy. There. Hold on. You start hotkeying. Okay. There you go. You'll be the one hotkey. Good. Go there. Go there. And then I guess go there. Though you are finally taking out those guys. Great. Get there. Oh boy. Go. Keep them or get rid of them. 57 fantastic stats, though. We'll gamble. See how long he stays alive. There. And fire damage, great. We can do some new techs. There's no reason to do it right now. Calvary shock, not particularly useful. Okay, 
got that guy. <laughs> right after they took that one down and rebels again. Oh my god, that's kind of amusing. Um, so I guess we'll just get through the cycle of all these damn rebellions, then people will be calm for a while. You get our Diplo rep up, that would also help not having all these rebellion issues. Um, whew. Yeah, we're short on manpower big time, that's for sure. Okay, kick that army out. That army's over there. This is over here. Finish him off. You get to go over there. Go back home. Kick you off my territory. Great, great. Now, somebody else can handle that. Put you there. Manhattan it is great. I'm gonna be out of manpower here in two seconds. Go. Well that was convenient location. Entire country needs him now, nah, local defensiveness. Okay, now you finally get to go to Manhattan. Okay, are we negative manpower yet? Yep. that much, but uh, it adds up. Compromise. Lubeck likes me a little more. Yeah, let's get some Diplo points. Jeez. I'm going to call this a uh, Holstein pays 75, I get 22 bucks of it. Hey, great. Elsa's embracing it. Only reform the army. Navy. Both. Morale of armies, 20% though. That is a lot of naval tradition, though. What is our naval tradition? 85, that's not actually... We could do both. Just do the military. Just do the military. That's just too much morale to give up. Um, yeah, you need to spend some of that off. So go ahead. We will spend that off. And as soon as we get our universities built, then we're going to be even cheaper development back home. And of course, GB is looking to start shit. Oh, so we didn't get it together. Use the money to increase stability. That's tempting. Fill the treasury. Nah. Stability it is. That was beautiful. Extra money. 
Let's write extra fervor. I keep forgetting about that one. And global trade power. Goes up by 1% every time. Okay, we'll wait for the new year. And then we'll take this. Tech. Okay, colony is self-sufficient. We can send a colony here, there. Go farther up. Could do Colonial Eastern America. Actually, I don't want to do that, though. I want to keep it going elsewhere. And the simple reason for that is New East Frisia is big enough, and I'm going to have start having loyalty issues with them if I am not careful. Um, making little Louisiana here stronger would be much better. So, we'll go ahead. We'll ship you there. Peak. Are you just going to fight and take care of them? Yes, you are. Okay, finally. Um, last thing we can do, we'll do the conversion. It's not going to matter. We're going into the next age. February's ticked over. Boom. Boom. More trade efficiency, more money. And importantly, now time to go ham. Oh, fuck me. On university buildings. Where are they? There we go. Universities. Um, there, there. So that will, of course, make our development cheaper. What else does the university do? I can't even remember. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, well, that's it. It's just free building. Free building and cheaper dev cost. Okay. Well. Lost our advisor. Well, cheap discipline guy right there. Done. Build a university? Yes. Need to build a university overall. Moonster 2 in a second. There we go. It's fixed. There. The Hague needs to build its next level fort. But that won't be for a little bit. Apparently, I need to go end this war. Spy Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, so much for that. Lost a next advisor. A <sighs> yearly inflation reduction that's cheap as hell, or a plus three. Making 180 a turn. I gotta go with the plus three. I can't cheap out. Would prefer then. Well, no, actually, my inflation reduction is quite good. It's much better than I thought it was. Okay. You, I can't promote. Not one of my promoted cultures. Well, there's 
your stack wipe. Come around. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's get some extra armies coming over here. Fashion's nearly finished. So it is as it is, we will throw the university down. Okay. Hit take the prestige hit. Okay, start building there in Moonster. All these universities are nearly done. Privateers. Okay, the ones going there, great. Shall be remembered, loyal subjects. Hell yes. Or exploit it. No. I do need to get Magdeburg. How long is this going to last for? Only five years? Nah, exploit it. I'm not doing Magdeburg now because I need to try to take Brabant first. Well, finally, Sweden, getting off your butt. And going after the little OPMs. Come on, start kicking their rears out of this war. Okay, GB's being a pain in the butt. Magdeburg needs improved relations. There. Okay. Come around to the Hague. Build the fort up. Actually, but we can build trade depots. Okay. So hold on. Take that off. It's going to be another big building round. Oh, stability is already going. Never mind. So we'll build that there. Nope, that looks okay. Everybody else has got manpower. Good. That looks okay. It's okay. It's okay. Courthouses, no. More local trade power. Make sure we get the big ones first. No, it's not my territory. There, there, there. 3.1. As soon as that ticks, there we go. Now I'll just turn that off so it ticks back up. Okay, I'm gonna need a much bigger army. So, how big can we make our army here? It's really based off our manpower situation. That is the main constraint. Well, let's build another five cannons. And I guess you should start training. Hey, a bunch of free money, great. More troops. Global trade power, lost the general. Get a new general a little bit. Under the faith, no. Cannons. 
not gonna go. You were drilling. Fine. I'll handle it. Uh, cost me a thousand. Could fight Huron. If we fight Huron, who else do we fight? Uh, a bunch of what other random ones? We'll improve the size of Canada. No, I think I need to go against those guys. I, I'm going to go for Brabant first, then probably set up a colonial Mexico. Okay, he died. What are we short on? Definitely not military. Let's get a bureaucratic candidate. And... Yeah, we've got tons. And I do mean tons. That, so let's see where we're going to develop. Where's the cheapest? Ravensburg, Berg, Meppen. Ravensburg, Berg. So elsewhere. Everybody else is what, 62, 42. You're only a 40. Yeah, all these other places are 30s or more. Okay. North Westphalia. Let's hit the development. Hit stability. Okay, it's these three. We're... Okay, this is a 14. It's now a 20. Just get the manpower going. A 30. Well, this is definitely the cheapest. We're only a cow. You know. F oh, god damn it. Did I seriously click on the wrong province? God. Okay, well. Can't all be as bright as me. <laughs> Okay, now let's take a look at what buildings to build on top of that. Particularly manpower buildings. Great. That's a good building. Okay. And then we click it off. Okay, so we've calmed down. So now we can summon another diet. Uh, Artois is owned by what? Us? Where's, yeah, Artois is owned by France. Colonize in the Iowa area. Okay. With that we can make happen. Kansas. Ta da Okay, here's Iowa. So that's easy. Just you get finished up, then you go over there. And you just keep pushing north. Okay. So that's looking good. Oh, that's right. The leader died. Can't actually recruit anybody right now. Busy spending all that off. Force the merchants to lower their prices. They'll get pissed. Uprising or just pay some cash to fix the situation. Shit. We're going to put them back up on top though, but... Oh no, we aren't because... 
okay. So that went both ways. So they lost 10, but then they gained 10. So it was a net zero gain. Great. Okay. 54. Got a bunch of trade. Hubs. Okay, we can do another reform. Electorate. Manpower, manpower recovery speed. Tempting. Morale of armies. Tempting. Board of Admirals. Really Republican tradition goes down. No, we don't need that. Military rulership. A general becomes ruler when the current ruler dies. Again, it's going to tank a Republican tradition. Dynastic rule. Has consorts. Allows royal marriage. No. Okay, so we're going with either landholders or citizenry. And that manpower recovery speed might be quite stinking useful. So we're only gaining 689 a month. Although if we do morale and our armies win, that is better on the field. You know what? We're doing morale. I'm not sure that's the correct decision, but it's the one I've done. Let's take a look. Okay, you're a half decent leader. And what else? The cannon. Keep building up the army here. Sixteen cannons is plenty. Let's just keep going with manpower. Got a good supply limit in all these uh, territories. It's got a good sized little army there. Eighteen for a five for a five province minor. It's not bad. So the goal is to see if we can vassalize them. I have zero clue if that will work or not. We'll see. Cheaper artist. Just gonna keep going. Probably get a fifty stack here. So that's looking okay. Just got to keep the opinion high. Then we'll be okay. CB expiring. Some native tribe. Probably should do what? 20, 30, 20. Take a look. Are there any other good buildings to build? No. Protect our trade. Liege hates me more. Well, it doesn't matter because you're Liege. Okay. It's a good building. Any other good buildings to build? No, not really. So let's turn you off. Any other ones we need to build? It's 12 years in advance. 12. Okay. I'm really far in advance. Don't need to worry about that. Get one more cannon on top of this. Restrict the non-nobility. That's going to tank my army tradition by 20. That is not an insignificant amount. So. Okay.
don't have a general. Let's borrow a general. Cost me fifteen hundred. Who's at war with the Huron? Ojaweebi or whatever. Okay. Trade Wars. Age of Absolutism. Okay. Well, got enough uh, universities there for sure. Um, need to get that up. We have zero trade companies. Need some trade companies. We need to promote some cultures too. Fine. We are not the Emperor, Emperor of China. That's not happening. So basically, we... When is our next building to get our count up? Starfort Conscription Center is 22. Okay, that's a little ways off. Take a look, East Frisia here. Yeah, Portugal seized a bunch of dev from Morocco. That's why they're pulled up closer to me. France is below because they've got an institution penalty there, but their development is 1130. So their core French territories were double what I'm packing. Still, we can get about all of these to 30 pretty quickly here. And do you know what? We will. Let's take a look. What can we do? Drain some stability. Who's the cheapest? You're 31. You are the cheapest. Great. And we'll just drill that in. No, oh, we don't need cows. Suspicious indeed. Ah, oh boy. Okay, trade efficiency or diplo rep. Let it take a month. Let's see if I need the diplo rep. So I prefer the trade, because we make how much off trade a month? 116. 10% there. You know what? We can get by without it. Money it is. Um, other choices. Yep. Need that eventually. Don't need to worry about it now. There we go. Another 2,000 manpower. And we can build some more of these. Any other buildings we need? Well, give me a little extra money. Okay. There's that, and once again, flip it off. Quickly go. Truce is over. I just need to dig out this manpower hole. You're 40, you're 38 to develop next. There, there. Get 
this one up. Although, you know what? Hold on a second. Yeah, when we do expand these Frisia, that will actually help big time and ooh, we'll really lower some costs of things. We'll have to do conquer new states. And there's that when we need a global dominance trade efficiency. Yeah, let's get the money now. Money now is better than money later. part of Iowa. Yeah, so we need to go to Otoe there. Who the hell is fighting them? Is he a piece? Some random tribes? Okay. One in peace separatists. Tariff efficiency is at 10%. And I think we're going to keep it that way because until we get bigger. Hmm. Yeah, that event is fading. But they, we just need more flat out. I mean, the biggest way to keep them in check is just have more development at home. The best way to do that get Brabant, integrate Brabant. And then we'll be good. Although. Yeah. Yep, that is how we are going to do it. So, get the final two there. You've now got a 50 stack. Next episode, we'll have our war with Brabant. A little bit of yearly prestige or better loyalty. Well, that was easy. Okay. You finish that, you're going to go to over there to Otui. Go. You improve relations with East Frisian, Louisiana at some point. Okay, we're nearly done with those two. Okay. A lot of courthouses being built. Part of East Frisia. No. Not going to mess around with that. We don't need them rebelling because tariffs get bad. Bunch of courthouses finished up. Okay, now we're getting a small stockpile. You can. Okay, you definitely need that building first. Okay, so we've got some more buildings to do, so we'll do that. Done. Manpower. Any other buildings? You could do sailors, you could do ships. You can do a manufactory, that's great. And let's get the ships. Okay. And then, of course, we flip it right back off. Okay, turn that off. What is our... Governing capacity. Oh, yeah. Now we're good. We are good. Take a look. They've got nothing. Well, we'll pick up the war next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you there.